Here I have a function f, and I would like to first determine the vertex and whether or not that point is a maximum or a minimum for the function. And then I'm going to go ahead and write the equation for the axis of symmetry. So in order to find the vertex, I have this little formula where I'm going to take the opposite of b over 2a in order to get the x-coordinate. And then my y-coordinate will just be whenever I plug my x into my function. So remember the way functions work, I give an input and I get an output. So I'm going to give it an x value and I'm going to get out a y value. So let's go ahead and find the x-coordinate for my vertex. We're saying the opposite of b over 2a. Well, the opposite of b, so my a value is my leading coefficient, and my b value is going to be the coefficient of my linear term. So the opposite of b will be negative 9 over twice my a value, which is negative 1.8. So this is going to be negative 9 over negative 3.6. And I think when I divide that, I'm going to get a positive 2.5. So the x-coordinate for my vertex is a positive 2.5. So in order to get the y-value for my vertex, I'm going to go ahead and plug my 2.5 into my function. So I'm going to find f of 2.5. So it's negative 1.8 times 2.5 squared plus 9 times 2.5 minus 6.25. Now it's just a matter of taking this decimal business and go ahead and simplify it. So it's negative 1.8 times, and 2.5 squared will be 6.25. And uh, I'll go ahead and write down the rest of this, and that way all the multiplication can be done together. So negative 1.8 times 6.25 should be something like, let's see, 11.25. And then 9 times 2.5 should be something like 22 and a half, so 22.5. And then minus 6.25. Of course, uh, this is half of this guy, so negative 11 and a quarter plus 22 and a half is just going to be a positive 11 and a quarter. And uh, when I minus 6 and a quarter from that, I'm just going to go ahead and get 5. So that wasn't too bad. That came out to be a nice uh, whole number there. So the vertex then is going to be my x value, 2.5, and my y value, 5. So vertex, 2.5, 5. Okay? So now let's go ahead and decide whether or not this point, this ordered pair, 2.5, 5, is a minimum or a maximum for the function. So when I look at my leading coefficient, this is going to be negative. So I know that my parabola is going to open up downward. So the vertex then is going to be a maximum value. So I'm going to go ahead and write maximum for my vertex. And the final thing I want to decide is, what is the equation of my axis of symmetry? So I have this vertical line here that's going to pass through my parabola. And it's going to divide it up into two sides, a left side and a right side which are going to be symmetric to one another with respect to this line of symmetry. So it's going to be a vertical line, so x equals the x value, and this x value is 2.5. So my axis of symmetry will be x equals 2.5.